Oh, wow. <laughs> 250000 dollars to sit down. It's almost a million dollars in the middle here. <laughs> $250,000 to sit down. You can reload and cash up at any time. Some of the biggest players in the world, some of the biggest pots, and that is the biggest player in the world, Phil Ivey, who is raising it up. And we can see those plaques there. They're worth 25000 each. The blue chips, which Paul Foy has a billion of, they're worth 1000 each, and the orange ones are 5000 Every player here is in for a minimum of 250000 well, we have a four-way pot on an 875 board. Very interesting. We've got Ivy here with ace four. Altigot with pocket sixes. That's interesting for him too. Newey with jack three of clubs. And we still don't know what Paul Fua has. Altigot with the open-ended straight draw. He has the benefit of having two sixes. So there's blockers to the straight. He's got two blockers. So he's got to like his hand a little bit. It checks around, a deuce, a black deuce of clubs on the turn. Paul Newey turns a flush draw. Alter got still with the open ender. Phil Ivey with the overcard. And the double gut shot draw. Which means he needs a three or a six to make a straight. Well, it checks around. And Paul Foy has, who knows? <laughs> well, he's got the option to bet and he's going to take it. He's on the button. 17,000 into 26,000. Does that give us an indication of what kind of hand he has? Uh, it gives us an indication of three people checked to him and decided just to have a stab. He could have basically anything here. No one showed any real strength. Altagot calls and Phil Ivey gets out of the way. The river now is a seven of diamonds. And Altagot, if he thinks he was ahead on the turn when he made the call, nothing changes with the seven there. He checks. So open the door for Foy to have another bet. If he does, I like him for a better hand than sixes, <laughs> but I think he's behind now. Well, Foy checks, and they both reveal their cards. And we will now find out what Foy had. He had ace five of clubs, so he also turned a draw. There is one of the most entertaining players you will see, Lo Xing Fung. He's kept us very, very curious. He's very creative, and he is certainly courageous. We can see Doug Polk from the United States. He's involved with ace-queen offsuit. Our newest player, Paul Foy, he raises it up to 23,000. Folds around. There you see Patrick Antonius in shot. Round to Polk now. Looks like he's going to come in for another raise. Wow, 58,000. Remember, these guys are very deep stacked. They're sitting with at least 300,000. So you think there's 150 big blinds effective stacks. Doug's three bet with the ace queen. What does he do if he gets four bet here? Does he want to get in 150 big blinds pre-flop? It's a tough spot because if he gets re-raised here, it's almost like he's turning the ace queen into a bluff. And we don't know what Fouar has. So incredibly, this is kind of like the end of a... Thriller movie, we don't know the ending of it. I think he has a little something something, Paul. He's called the four bet. <laughs> With over a hundred grand in the middle, I can't wait to see how it ends. The flop, an eight five deuce. There you see, hundred and twenty one thousand dollars. There's so much money in the middle. Doug can't just uh, check now that he's missed. Obviously he has to continue. He's gonna continue with a decent bet. Betting 56,000. And Foy takes a look at his hand, and we see pocket jacks. So he's sitting on a monster here. Yeah, it's a sexy little flop for jacks. He has the over pair to the board. In a four bet pot, he's got to be pretty comfortable. Obviously, there's still some hands that beat him, that's for sure. Well, he's not electing to get too aggressive. He's just calling. We're going to see a turn. The king of hearts on the turn. Now, obviously, that hasn't hit either player, but it could it could slow them down. Could be a bit of a scare card. Will Polk fire again? It looks like Doug is pretty keen to empty the clip here. What I mean by that is bet on the turn, set it up for a river shove. Waiting for the amount from the dealer. And the way this hand's played out, Doug definitely f uh, four bets a hand like ace-king. He's definitely going to... Fire again on the flop. 
Now that the king has landed, he can certainly represent a hand like Ace King. Remember, Foire is also behind Queens Kings Aces pre-flop. The pot, a staggering three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. The action back on Foire, who probably should have raised on the flop. Well, he was very, very comfortable on the flop. Now not as comfortable. And I, wow, uh, look at that. I'm actually, I like the line he took on the flop. If he did raise there on the flop, he's turning it into a bluff with the jacks. Well, Doug Polk's four bet pre-flop meant he continued with that aggressive line, like Grant said, and it allowed him to take it all the way. And look at the chips that he's starting to amass now. You can see here, Fuas picked up pocket tens and he's involved. Lowe's also involved. And of course, the other end of it, Paul, is when they get legitimate hands like this, uh, they're kind of hard to believe. Well, Ike choosing not to get involved this time. Neither does Doug Polk. And these two will go heads up. Anything could happen. 7-8 of clubs versus pocket tens. And the flop is a 10-9 deuce flop. <laughs> Well, yeah, anything can happen. Guaranteed, Paul, this is going to be a big pot. A draw against top set. These guys have obviously played together a lot as well. well it looks like a bet and a call. The turn is a six, so the straight's there now. So a dominant set of tens gets crushed on the turn. Okay, now let's just count how many chips they have in front, Paul, because that's about how big the pot's going to get by the end of it. All those plaques, all those orange chips and blue chips, Look at they're going to find their way into the middle here. <laughs> he just leaned over and looked at the amount of chips he had. He's holding the nuts at this stage, and he leaned over and looked at his stack and said, how much of that can I get? And Paul Foy's like, okay. You can take all of this, no problems. I've got top set. I love these guys. They're the most entertaining players I've seen in such a long time. Fua still has a set of tens. It's a monster hand. <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of this, but I'm pretty sure Lo was just... Named. Oh, wow. <laughs> he announces all in. Massive overshove. Seven. Mark the eight count of four. <laughs> Low can't believe it. Just casually eating four his noodles. In, uh, six and nine. Pocket six. Call. Wow, he's just called. I can't wait to see how big this pot is. It's almost a million dollars in the middle. He has called with top set. Oh, seven it. Oh, <laughs> well, what else, what else can you say after losing a pot of... Well, he hasn't lost yet. How many outs has he got, Grant? Ten? Yeah, well, he's got uh, three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, he's got ten outs. Ten outs to the river. How many times would you like to... You might have a How much I bet on the turn? They're trying to figure out how much... Is in the middle. We can tell you it's pretty close to a million, and we had that figured out on the f on the flop. <laughs> well, they should have had that discussion a little bit earlier, perhaps. Now there's a million dollars in the middle. My looks up. I mean, the hand plays itself, Paul. The straight versus top set. Okay. Running at once or twice? Sorry. Once. Yeah, once please, Fua says. He's a big what? underdog here. Pure gamble. Pure gamble from Fua. Huh? Running it once? Oh, they were discussing whether they wanted to run it twice. Yeah, once. Yes. Two sets. Okay. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Deuce. Oh, yes! <laughs> and the river is an ace of hearts, and that decides an amazing pot of almost $1 million will go to Lo Xing Fung. He turned a straight and crushed Fua's set of tens. Incredible. That is just incredible. Grant Levy is sitting aside me, and I can almost tell that you're as stunned as I am. Oh, that's pretty to watch. Just a massive cooler. And all the guys are actually sitting on the table thinking, well, he's got a million. I'm going to get every single chip out of his stack. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content. And check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.